My name is Kenna Garcia. Um, I previously attended Saul Ross MRGC and graduated my bachelor's in English. And currently I am still, I'm attending Saul Ross at Alpine virtually and um, getting my master's degree. Well, I'm from Del Rio. It's weird because um, in Del Rio, there's the high school and literally right next to it is Sal Ross. And then there's another community, uh, a community college right next to Sal Ross called Southwest. So right when I graduated high school, I went to Southwest and completed my basics. And then from there, I went to UTSA and I stayed there for a good two years. Uh, the thing was, it was, I, I was doing well in UTSA. I had, I'm always made in the Dean's list and one year I made it to the President's list and I was like, whoo. Um, but I had to come back to Del Rio for financial reasons. It was so pricey over there. And so I, I came over here to Sal Ross, kind of expecting kind of be like, Ugh. but in reality, it really helped me. I say I, I, I learned a lot more in Sal Ross because of the smaller classrooms. Because at UTSA, I would take a class and the average would be like 25 to 30 students. And then of course, I also had auditorium classes. So that will be with like 100 students. So it was very difficult to get a one-on-one -on -one professional relationship with your professors. Right now, I am actually still in Sal Ross um, doing my master's degree in English. But I'm getting a lot of opportunities, um, putting more, experience in my CV. Um, recently, I helped one of my professors with her book and I was her research assistant for a little while. And that was pretty cool, it was fun. It, it was very slow paced, which I liked because at UTSA it was very fast, <laughs> very fast. And over here, you get to take your time to learn your material and to form um, professional relationships with your professors. So. I thought that was really nice because I, I am getting more opportunities and learning more because of my one-on-one -on -one times with my professors. My mom's a teacher, so she's a math teacher <laughs> and I'm actually really bad at math. So and that was the main reason I loved English because it wasn't math, it was the exact opposite and deal with numbers, it dealt with words. And I've always, I've always loved reading and writing when I was little. Um, I was actually, I was one of those little nerds who wrote research essays for fun. So um, I knew I wanted to major in English because of the opportunities of researching all these new types of literature. And, and I wanted to express that on the findings and about literature to other people as well, because it is still very important. I would say my teachers, um, kind of helping building up your confidence for writing because of course they always say when you write um you put a part of yourself in your writing they were telling me that hey like Kenna you're actually pretty good at writing you should you should continue that and I was like oh my gosh and it's, it's just like that building of the conf like confidence building which I liked about Sarah so that it helped with it's small but you'll learn a lot from it um I would say if you don't like fast paced or big universities to attend this school because you would get and I would say you would learn more than what you would do at big universities because of, like I mentioned before, that one on one contact with your professors. Oddly enough, MRGC, um, they don't have e the English program for a master's. It's only Alpine. So right now I'm an technically I'm an Alpine student in Del Rio. Um, getting my master's degree. Even with the virtual, my professors, they're like, don't email me, here's my number, <laughs> just contact me from there. So I do text them about any questions that I have and they're very quick to respond. But of course, if I don't wanna text them, I can email, email them and they will respond back to me. But yeah, the virtual did not take away that relationship at all. I know some students think or some people think that because they graduated from a local university that they didn't achieve anything. But I'm like, you have your degree, <laughs> you achieved something. I believe that some people think of that notion that you need to leave home in order to do great things. But sometimes your community can offer great things for you to help you achieve your, your goals. And that's what I think Saras does because um, Dario is a small community and it does give many people the opportunity to get degrees like you can get your bachelor's you can get your master's degree because it's literally right there you don't have to go to a big university and pay so much money when Saul Ross can offer the same programs for a lower price and with um 
and give you better opportunities with it.